Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello everyone and this is Audit Rewind, the place where you will find the latest and greatest audit moments, in my opinion, on the whole of YouTube. I add my unique twist by adding reaction, commentary and criticism to each of the best moments. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and maybe leave a like to show your support for my channel. Today we're going to be starting with a clip from the channel Eli. I will leave a link down below to his channel so you guys can all go and subscribe to him if you aren't already. I know most of you already are though. Now this clip is interesting. It features Eli trying to exercise his rights. He's on a public sidewalk and a bunch of people come out and basically say to him, you need to stop filming. Now I believe that these are security guards and that they are not law enforcement. But like I said, I'm going to be reacting. This is a blind reaction to give my authentic review. So I haven't pre-planned anything. I'm just going to jump straight into this with you guys. Let's begin. Camera, go ahead. Excuse me? Camera, go, brother. Why not? Because you can't. Why not? Who? Says who? Jay. Who's Jay? Independent filmer or something? Huh? Are you recording for us or an independent filmer or what are you recording for? Who are you? I work here, security. I asked you a question why you just got a recording out of nowhere. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Garcia. Garcia? Yes. I do videos, Garcia. Okay, what kind of videos do you do, sir? I do stories. Uh huh? May I ask? Yes, you can ask. I'm you being polite, ask. I'm not being rude to you at all. I never said you that. They asked me to come to you actually why you just got to record everybody here. Who's everybody? People are here. What's going on? What's going on? Now he just started recording and I want to ask him what happened. Why do you have How you doing, man? Wait. You're an officer? Why do you have that? Yes. You're a cop? Yes. How you doing, man? Yes. Hello. How are you? How you doing, man? Hello. You good? I'm Gucci. Right. Why everybody on panic? What's going on? Everybody panic. Just came over to ask him. Yeah. Y'all right? Yeah. All right, get back to work. Everything Gucci. Get back to work, everybody. Back to work. Back to work. Back to work, man. Back to work, back to work. What's going on here, man? Jesus. Total shit. What's this over here, my bitch? What you doing? Huh? What you doing? Video. Why are you video here? What? Why are you recording? I'm doing a video. Why? Because I feel like it. You can't be recording this though. Why not? Why are you recording this? You just came up to me. You just approached me. I know, but you over here recording like feeling like why are you recording me though? Like, like you don't got permission to record me. What? What? You don't got permission to re be recording me and stuff like this. I don't need your permission, G. Alright, G. Keep it pushing, G. You keep it pushing. How about them apples? How about them apples? Keep it pushing. You keep it pushing. This is good content. So you gonna keep it pushing? Where you from, New Jersey? Yo, bro, you good, bro? Hey, bro. Keep it pushing, G. You keep it pushing, G. This video was kind of funny towards the end. The security guard was at the end of this clip. I realized the part that I watched, but the beginning part was actually the cops. And they at first were like, Hey, why are you recording? What are you doing? And then Eli basically said to them, Yeah, I'm allowed to do what I'm doing. I'm allowed to be here and I can do whatever I want. He's filming from public, so he is protected under the First Amendment of the Constitution. And it seems to me like, especially the security guard, didn't understand that. He mentioned that he needed his permission to film him, again, which would be a sign of ignorance to that law in the constitution. And the cops kind of knew that Eli was allowed to do this, so they didn't really say much, I don't think. And they just decided to shut the door and kind of tell their other colleague to come inside so that they wouldn't give him any attention. But the other colleague was like, no, I want to stay out here. <laughs> so she decided to just stay out there. There's nothing wrong with him filming. So, and she didn't mind it. I'll leave a link down below to Eli's channel in the description. Please go and subscribe to him. How you doing? 
every once in a while I come across an audit that is really top quality and this my friends is just that. This is the channel Tyrant Terminator Audits, link down below to his channel so you guys can all go and subscribe. This is I believe the Chief of Police and he is uh, featuring in this audit by Tyrant Terminator. It seems to me like they are in some kind of a city hall or something and what's happening here is unbelievable. Even the chief of police seems to be trying the tactic of feelings enforcement against the officer. So let's see what actually happens here. I'm going to do some reactions and criticize what's actually going on. The chief of police seems to not want to have Tyrant Terminator filming in the building because according to him, it's making people feel uncomfortable and he doesn't want that. Again, feelings enforcement. So let's see what happens. How you doing? How you doing, sir? I'm good. I'm uh, Mike Jones on the police chief. Are you the chief of police? Oh, yeah. Max, sir. How are you doing today, sir? Nice. James. Nice to meet you, James. Nice to meet you as well. So, the reason I'm here is you're filming a public building, and obviously we worry about safety concerns uh, in terms of what's going on and things like that. So really? Can so, I ask you why? Well, yeah, I'm just like I've been telling everybody here. First of all, what's, what's your badge number, sir? 22. 22. So, so like I've been telling probably about five different personnel that works here, uh, I didn't need any help at the moment. Um, I've come encounter with five different people that work here now, the chief of police, so I'm kind of, uh, it's astonishing that they, they called you here for no one committing a crime. Can, can you understand um, how it makes people feel a little bit unease? Um, and then also the safety aspect of it, because in today's day and age, you know, when people are filming public buildings, yeah, so, you know, because we have people coming in here, that's and nobody knows you, I mean, I mean, well, I, I, just, I know your first I name just, is James. I think it's very, you know, I think it's very disgusting though that they would call the police minus a crime, no matter what, you know, no matter if they uh, sus feel a certain way or suspect anything. No, it, no, no, no. It, it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's no crime being committed. Why would they call did, the cops? Did I come at you? Like, I mean, first off, I hope you understand that I'm a pretty reasonable person. Okay. All right, okay. But my, my job is not just to. Um, respond to crimes but it's also to make sure that you know our village and everybody is safe and feel safe and so how so, just real quick how, how would anybody feel unsafe that, that that's I'd that love to well, know I don't <laughs> get into a social sociological uh, you know conversation well I mean you, you brought me, it up so let me we tell wanna... you this say you're going for a walk okay and you're walking on a, on a, in a forest preserve or on a, on a public trail okay and you have somebody else man woman whoever following you out around with the camp with the camera okay and you're just trying to take a walk right and maybe you know and it's making you anxious and uneasy um how would that make you feel this chief is trying to tell tyrant terminator that what he is doing is making people feel uncomfortable however i don't think the law really cares about people's feelings after all, there are a lot of laws out there that protect people to do some pretty damn annoying things like people who can't sing busking in public and also people exercising their rights to dance in public. That's annoying and I don't like people who dance. <laughs> you know, it's like right now the chief is going, how would you like it if someone came in with a camera? Well, the answer is, and I know Tyrant Terminator will say something like this, is yeah, well, he, they would have a right to film me as well, so I don't really have any say in it. <laughs> like, I'm interested to see what Tyrant Terminator is going to respond to that statement with. If he's going to say, why are you asking me this? Because it's, it's protected activity. So what does people's feelings really matter here? Like, yeah, they might find it awkward and annoying, but that's, that's their problem. Weird. He's taken an interesting route to go down this chief. And uneasy, um, how would that make you feel? If someone was following me with their camera. Right. So, so we, have, we have people coming here doing public business. That's right. Maybe they're paying their water bill and maybe they're dealing with other stuff. And they're feeling uneasy because, you know, you're just here. Yeah, but so, so you know what the personnel should do here? Okay. All they would have to do is say, this young man has a right to do it. And that'll... You know, that'll knock okay, so, away any type so of... So I have an event tonight here. Okay. And I don't know, I haven't met you. You seem like a nice guy. But in this world, how do I know that you're not going to come back and, and, and you have nefarious 
um, uh, ideologies where you want to bomb the place. Of course where not. You take it, you know, I mean, uh, you say of course not, but it's not normal for somebody to walk around a public building with a video camera. I mean, what, what is your purpose? I mean, you know what? It's not. I mean, God bless you that you have a job. You know what? It's not normal. It's, it's not normal to put 34 inch rims on a, on a, on a uh, Honda Civic, but it's not illegal, though. You know what I mean? So, so is that what you want to do? Is you want to sit here and videotape all day? I mean, I just want to be able to uh, exercise my rights unmolested, like I told Mr. Anthony back there. This do, you, do you live in town here? No, nah, it's my first time even to um, the city of so uh, Moline. Why, 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 why not? Well, I mean, why not? Why not visit the city of Moline? So you're a disruptor, is what you're saying. Disruptor? Yeah. So, so uh, real quick, Chief, me filming, exercising my right to film in public is, is, is disrupting. I, to, my you just, to my residents, yes. But there's no residents complained. <laughs> no one they didn't complain. complain to you. They didn't complain to these guys. You, you, didn't, you don't know who they complained to. Sir, did any resident complain to you guys? Did any resident complain? I'm He's just, trying to do his job. I'm just asking. He called, since he called you, I want to be able to, you know, there's no sense in him, you know, throwing rocks and hiding his hands now. He's, he's actually working, he works here. And he's I, trying to do I his know. job. So you stopping him. What's wrong with that? He's a public servant. <laughs> well, he has streets and sanitation. He has 10 square miles, 100 square miles of 78. 78 square miles to deal with. Right. So you stopping him. That's correct. And, and you're in, I have other things to do. Right. So, so that, I didn't call you here, Chief. You should get back to work. If you got a lot to do, you definitely, matter of fact, they wasted the resources well, calling you here. No, I, I, I appreciate that you want to exercise your rights. For sure. I'm sad that you're doing it at the, uh, at the, at the, um, at, at the, uh, disruption of my citizens oh, and my, my stakeholders and my business owners that are coming in here trying to do business that have let us know if you want to continue to do this sit down i'll sit down with you the rest of the day we can film no, everybody no no i don't i don't want to sit down chief i don't want to sit down i just want to be able to keep walking around like i was doing accessing the public accessible to make areas sure that my public feels safe mm -hmm. because you're doing something that's out of the ordinary i will sit here for the rest of the day with you oh well, that's on you <laughs> that's no, gonna be hey, on you you're the chief of police well, it's on you because you're actually taking the chief of police away from other duties oh, no, i didn't call you here if that's what you want to do i didn't call you here <laughs> only way i can keep you away from duties is if i called you here hey by all right continue to do what you got to do I might get a cup of coffee or something. I mean, I, I, I mean, if that's what you want to do. I have to do. I might have to do some work off of my phone. I mean, if that's what you want to do on a taxpayer's dollar, man, you, 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 you're, going, you're looking, you're making max and looking real bad right now. You're the chief of police. Not. You are. I'm sure, I'm sure my citizens would appreciate that. Absolutely that not. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that this is a safe haven for them How? and for a man to, to spend his whole day filming people that probably don't want to be filmed. So you swore off to, to uphold the Constitution, correct? Yes, sir. So, so this is a First Amendment protected activity. I, I see where you're going here. Yes, you see where he's going. He's going right to the Constitution. Is that not what you swore the oath to, Mr. Chief? Well, I mean, where do I start? This video as a whole is really, really annoying to watch. I mean, I think that the Chief maybe saw the auditor and thought, hey, if I try and be friendly and say, this person doesn't feel very nice because you're filming them, then he might actually listen to me and be like, oh no, I don't want to make her sad. Sorry sir, I'll stop filming and leave. No, that's unfortunately not what happens. Most auditors are seen as really annoying guys, and they have a lot of names that the members of the public call at them. But to think that this guy is just going to pack his camera up and leave because of a lady's feelings stood at reception you've got another thing coming it makes no sense whatsoever the chief was obviously yes he wasn't aggressive he wasn't uh ag he wasn't confrontational he like some chiefs are what we've seen on this channel he just tried to use a feelings enforcement tactic which kind of backfired at him and he realized that it just wasn't going to work so he kind of sat down after that and started having a drink and just relaxed and i mean it could have been worse uh, but uh, it was still weird how he used that tactic i I didn't really understand where he thought it was going to get him. Guys, I'll leave a link down below to Tyrant Terminator. Go and subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Hey, where you speak? Up next, we have a video from the channel, Good Guy Activism. I will leave a link down below to his channel, and I highly recommend you all subscribe to him. This is a audit moment from outside of a police department regarding good guy being stopped by two officers because they think that he is suspiciously filming inside of their vehicles. So I'm going to react to what happens here and see what happens because I have to say the good guy is a very difficult auditor to try and 
to try and basically violate his rights. I mean, how else do I put it? He's so good at talking. He's so calm and relaxed. Let's see if they actually try and say he can't film. Hmm. This is where you speak. Is everything okay? Have you read your patrol guide? Are you okay? Have you read your patrol guide? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. So what did you just do wrong? You can't be taking pictures of the car. You did it again. I thought you read your patrol guide. It could be personal cars. There's okay. Privacy. Okay. There's privacy in public. Oh, so I could just take a picture of your car then. If it's in public, yeah, why not? All if right. it's on my driveway. All right, good to know. That's trespassing. All right, good to know. You just learned that? Did I just teach you that? Yeah. Thank you. Well, you learned something new. You didn't, I thought you read your patrol guide. No, I'm just learning from you no, right, right now. Your patrol guide says to never tell me to stop recording or I can't record. I never told so you. So why would you? You I just said not, I can't I record not twice. I tell you to not record. You just I said say, I can't doing, record guy? twice. I say, what are you doing, guy? And then you said I can't record right, you know twice. What? No you approached me. That's no point I told you that's what you do to the public? You wave your hand at them? That's mad rude. Did I go like that to you? It's kind of funny because at the start when you don't talk to them, they're trying to figure out is this guy an idiot or is he actually intelligent? It's like they want you to talk so they figure out if you are or not. They try and interpret whether you are actually knowledgeable and know what you're talking about or whether you're just simply an idiot who doesn't know the law. Once they realized that good guy activism knew his rights and he started putting them in their place, they soon turned around and walked away, realizing that he said, look, it's a First Amendment protected activity. I'm just filming what I can see with my own eyes out in public. There's nothing wrong with that. That's my opinions. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Next, we're in a police department and we have a female officer saying that these guys cannot film within the department. So this is interesting. We've got some uh, very uh, interesting photos up on the wall that have been neatly framed in matching picture frames. So we've got a couple auditors here. First of all, we are watching from the perspective of Lizard Media. This channel I will leave a link down below to in the description. I'm going to react to this moment from the audit, give my criticisms and honest opinions. Um, I don't think it's good. I'm going to be honest. I don't like ruining the audits, but I think that this uh, cop is about to try and say that they cannot film in there no matter what. So, hmm. L let's get into some reaction. Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe she'll change her mind and realize that, oh yeah, wait, I did take an oath seven years ago or whenever she joined oh yeah wait i did take an oath maybe she'll remember someone will click their fingers and she'll all of a sudden wake up let's see Hi. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> okay so now you're in the police station is there something that you needed yeah i actually came to file a complaint on you okay i can give you the complaint form yeah. all right well, i also wanted to talk to a supervisor okay right now that's me that's you so i give you the phone number for a supervisor <laughs> can i talk to you lieutenant He's not available right now. Well, can I get his information? Absolutely. All right, and the form. Is there anything else that you needed other than the form and the lieutenant's name? Not at the moment. Okay, I'm going to need you to turn that off though because you're inside the police you're department. You're wrong. You're actually sorry. In public areas were allowed to film. Yeah, we can record anywhere in public. Who trained you? In public areas were allowed to film. Okay. You think a sergeant would know that? And you're the sergeant? Yeah, we're filing separate. Well, like, yeah. Oh, okay. What would possess you to lie about someone like that? I'm sorry? What would possess you to lie that we're collecting personal information? And what makes you think that I'm lying? Yeah, uh, because you are. Why would you accuse us of collecting personal information? Because you're recording this woman who's making a complaint and she's giving her personal information right. and you're recording that. And you're scared. Uh-huh. But that's because not you're like intimidating people. Uh -huh. No, you wait, are intimidating that's people. Hold on. That's Hold on. She was nothing but friendly. We were feeling to her back. How was she intimidated? Did yeah, she, 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 she was, was fine intimidated? with us she being here. It's you who's not. So again, yeah. here is the lieutenant's name. So told it's you. Mike Parsons. This is one of the complaint forms. Right. I'll go get three more. Yeah. You are a civil servant. You shouldn't be acting like I am. This. I did offer you my services. You said you didn't need anything, and you guys basically I'm saying you me. shouldn't be lying about the public, ma'am. I'm not lying about you the did. public. You did. I'm but telling you. you are, we're all going to talk to me at once, or I get to talk? He's going to talk to me. Hey, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You were asking us questions, which I answered over there. No, you didn't. I did. You said, do I need to help? I said, no, that's a question. That's an answer. How is that not an answer? Okay. Okay. 
Both of these auditors are giving the female cop a run for her money. The reason I say this is because she seems to be kind of having breaks and pauses. She's trying to reassess the situation. They've made the facts clear. It's a publicly accessible area and that they have what they would consider to be the rights that would be protected under the First Amendment of the Constitution or plain view. Now, this is something that the female cop seems to be freezing about now because she's thinking, hang on, they know what they're talking about. Do I keep pushing forward or do I threaten them with a trespass or an arrest? This is going to get very exciting. I reckon that they are going to maybe, I don't know, it's either going to go a trespass or it's going to go that they kind of leave them alone and let them leave after a few minutes of taking video. Sometimes that happens. It would be better if that happens, but it might not. So let's see. No, you didn't. I did. You said, do I need your help? I said, no, that's a question. That's an answer. How is that not an answer? Okay. Okay. So, and it's all on video. Who didn't get one? And then the second, the second that I started to ask a question, you decided conversation over and walked away. It's all on video. No, you kept asking me if there was a cat call. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. And I said, no, there was no cat right. call. But then why were you over there in the first place if you weren't called over there? I explained that to you. What did I say? You just said, oh, you just came by to talk to us. But what made you come by and talk to us? What was my answer to that question? I don't know. I'll have to review it on the video. But it wasn't, you know, like you were called there, obviously. I was not called okay. there. And I explained that multiple times. She said uh, she thought you needed help. No, I did not say yeah. that. Well, that's I'm what here to offer my assistance. But that's what she came up. Yes. Yeah. And why did I say that? Why did you say that? That's our yeah, question. That's why what we're asking. Why assistance? did you what say that? What is my job? You You're tell a public us. Servant too. Exactly. But, my job is to go. Walk, but you don't walk up to every single person on the street asking if they need your assistance. I go around to several people asking if they need assistance. That, that's the weirdest way to police I've ever heard of. I've never heard of that. So when you see someone who looks like they are possibly lost or having a medical emergency or maybe disoriented or looking for information about something so, or maybe a tourist. But what about us says we're any of that? You're recording something. But what, how does that make us lost or a tourist? Because maybe or... you're a tourist. Maybe you're unfamiliar with the area. Let's... <laughs> so if I'm asking you, do you have any questions? What is an un... What's, I don't understand what you're questioning that question for. Well, if I'm a public service... Your condescending attitude from the very beginning is everything that you know is, is wrong with... The, I mean, even this interaction. I'm okay, can we turn the camera and point it at you guys? I, I've already shown my face multiple times. Your face is not shown. You're wearing a mask. Yes. I've that put on covers. my best smile for you yes. today. Oh, uh, what's wrong so, with privacy? Is it wrong? So, so is it illegal place? for me to create my own privacy? No, I'm I'm asking. So I'm I'm questioning the second or double standard that's happening here. The interesting thing about this interaction is I can see similarities in this audit as well as the last one I reacted to from Tyrant Terminator. The reason I can see similarities is because to start with, this female cops came out kind of all, you know, authoritative and like, you do this, you do that, we need to get rid of you. And now she's like bickering with them. They're having like a bit of a, I don't know, a flimsy argument, can you say, about holding their faces and covering their ma their faces with masks? like. What does this have to do with the situation? I mean, if they want to cover their faces and they can, I guess maybe they, you know, don't have any issues with with saying why they're doing that. They might have allergy, they might have a weakened immune system, or they might just want to keep their identity hidden. You know, they have a right to do that. Yes, it could be perceived as more suspicious in a police department. I could totally understand that argument. However, right now, they don't really have any reasonable, articulable suspicion that they have committed a crime or are about to commit a crime. So, my opinions are pretty much stayed the same as when I first started watching this video by Lizard Media, is that they're just exercising their rights. And once again, the female cop, just like the chief in our last clip, doesn't really know how to handle it because they know they have to be careful as these auditors will take action further if they violate their rights. It's that simple. I love how these guys handled it. She was struggling towards the end, you could tell. Please go and subscribe to Lizard Media, link to his channel in the description. And uh, yeah, that's the end of tonight's Audit Rewind show. Please subscribe if you're new here and leave a like on today's video and I'll catch you tomorrow.